Hello, everybody! My name is Gamers101, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. I have messed around with a few of the weapons in the box, and I decided I'm gonna go with this one. It's called the Photo X? I think I forgot the name of it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna check, actually. Proto Commission Axe, that's it. I messed around with a couple of them in the training arena, and I decided to go with that one, so that's what we're gonna do. Talk to handler. Talk to the handler in the canteen. So that's where we're gonna go. Cause hopefully we're getting ready to hunt some actual monsters finally. And uh, if anybody was wondering if I'm gonna play this game co-op, I'm not really sure yet. I kind of want to, but I'm not sure who I'd be playing it with. Cause I'd like to. It, it might be a case of come and go co-op in the sense that some episodes I'll be playing co-op, some episodes I won't be playing co-op because I have no intention. To stop and wait for people to catch up to me or me to catch up to them. <laughs> now that you have access to the armory and provision stockpile, grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet up with your handler in the canteen to sign up for a quest. Okay. Handlers sort through the research commission's leads. You have an exclamation mark, which means I need the to talk to you. Worth our attention become quests. Listen up. There's something important I need to talk to you about. This commission is special, different from your past undertakings, if I had Over to take here. a guess. Well... I understand that's for previous uh, Monster Hunter players, so I'm not one of them. It's not about hunting down the Elder Dragons or punishing them for the damage they cause. The Commission seeks an understanding of their place in nature and ours. That's the point. The Elder Dragons are nature, and it's as futile to try and punish nature as it is to run from it. Okay? But knowing nature, now that's something we can do. We're going to face some real challenges. The best course might not always be clear. What this world needs is harmony. But before you take life or move to defend it, understand it. That's what makes you a hunter. Okay. So that was just dialogue, essentially. I mean, I got it, but... It's not about punishing them. Uh, I love how my entire body is just a shield sword thing. What? Aficionado? Aficionado? What, what are you? I can't... I uh, okay, whatever. Um, hey! Let's get this investigation started. I'll be waiting for you at the canteen. I see this... Oh, there you are. Provision stockpile. <laughs> oh, nice weapon, buddy. I guess it means it's time to get hooked up with some supplies. We carry pretty much everything you need, so if you're ever short on anything, I'm your guy. But as much as I'd love to take all your zenny, which I'm assuming is money, it's still a good idea to gather as much as you can while out in the field. Buy two pouch. How much money do I have? I have. It starts you off with two thousand zenny, enough to buy some basic stuff if you so choose. An a usually unusually shaped weapon from abroad that returns to its user when thrown. I don't understand the point. I mean, I, I it's a weapon. I kind of get that. So, so okay, they do have rarity. It tells you at least. Uh huh. Okay. <sighs> I want to buy a few extra potions because I'm not terribly confident in my ability. I mean, I'm, they probably gave you that many because you can collect them in the field, so maybe, oops. Hey. Yeah, shut up! I'm coming, Jesus! Okay. Anyway. Where's the canteen at? It's up here, it looks like. Okay. So let's go start killing some meonsters. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop now. Oh, there you are. Quest counter. Right on time. Okay, partner, time to get down to business. The guild teamed us up for a reason. But I thought we teamed up because we. Uh, okay, whatever. From now on, you're my hunter and I'm your handler. <laughs> you can handle me any time. Anyway, I'm the bread to your butter. <laughs> you can butter my bread. <laughs> Wait, no, she's the bread, I'm the butter. That's not as interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay. The fifth fleet's first mission is to survey the Jagras's habit. Then we gotta cull a certain number of them in order to secure the area. We can depart as soon as you sign up for the Jagras of the Ancient Forest quest. Are you ready? What are we waiting for? I just, the new world of I'm waiting for you to shut up and let me take the quest! A wild and wondrous new world is awaiting is waiting for us out there. Post a new quest! Quests involve objectives such as slaying monsters and... Okay, I get the idea of a quest. Assignments, complete these missions to advance the story. Optional quests. Okay. Favors from PCs, blah, blah, blah. 
Investigations, these special quests are issued by the Resource Center and can only be taken a limited number of times. Interesting, okay. Special ex quests exclusive to online play, which is something I may do. But right now, all I can do is assigned. Jogress of the Ancient Forest. Reward money, 720 zenny. 50 minute time limit. Okay. Failure conditions. Faint three times or time expires. Okay. Other monsters are Aptonoths and Murnos. Zora Magnaros. Mag Magnaros. Uh, Zora Magnaros' appearance has brought about changes in the local ecosystem. Head into Jagger's territory to investigate and take them out if necessary, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Yes, accept the quest. Okay, you're free to explore Astera until preparations for the quest are complete. Grab me up the canteen, shore up your supplies. Is that supposed to make, is, is that supposed to say a store? At the provision stockpile, get the latest gear from the smithy and armory, and then adjust your equipment and organize your items at the item box. You'll be heading out into the field in no time! Okay, take a look at the upper left corner of the screen. When the quest is ready to begin, you'll see a notification there. Once you've prepared, press the touchpad at any time to enter into standby. You can go into st you go on standby by pressing X at one of those CR gates. Uh, stairs gates. From party member statuses from party members' status Jesus Christ, I can't read today. Selecting standby for departure will have your party depart on the quest as soon as all preparations are accounted for. If you are the leader of the party, pressing triangle will let you depart first while other members who are on standby. I'm gonna forget ninety percent of that soon, so I'm hoping that it tells you. Ready to depart opens the departure window. Okay. Yes. I love how I just have a pet wyvern. Wyvern. I think it's wyvern. Pet wyvern that fucking takes me all over the place. So let's do this. Alright. This is our first job. Let's do a quick review of quest rules. Okay. Rule number one. Complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? Duh! Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Duh! Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check them okay, out. Okay, that one's reasonable. <laughs> the first two we are basically the same the thing. Base. The small monsters, remember? Oh yeah, the yellow thingies. I think we saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? All right, let's go kill them. Rule number two, use the supply box. Okay. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Ready right to there, go. I'm assuming, that box right there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Hey, partner. Okay, so these are just things you should take. Restore a small amount of stamina. And I have, I'm full of those, so. Want to get going? You have your supplies? Good, let's go. Yes. Want to get going? Yeah, I do. Let's go kill some. Uh -huh. Item bar. Oh, are we all. Oh, okay, then that's my. That's my cat. Be careful. Item bar. Oh, I see. I haven't selected any hotkeys, though. How do I hotkey it? Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. I get it, dude. Shut up! Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. Okay. When you're investigating or gathering items, you'll generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. Okay. I'll mark gathering sites and monster positions on the wildlife map for you. Okay, that's helpful. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. Okay. Did I, I think uh, I remember hearing that there's like an auto convert kind of thing or something like that. Over here. The, uh, you don't need to shout. I'm right behind you. Okay. 
<laughs> a nut covered in needle-like spines. So it's just, they're just like a freshly shaved Those pubic the monsters thing. We're after. Let's see how you hold up when you're on your own. I didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, I was about to, I was about to say, is there like a lock on? You don't hit my cat! How dare thee! Ow. Please angle it the other way. Okay, I got two of them already. So this is like the your first actual legitimate. They're on the run. Don't let them get away. Oh no, you don't. Grab all the monster materials you can. You can use them at the smith. Oh okay. Uh, let's just. Okay. Jagger's material obtained by carving supple. Oh, obtained by carving supple used to craft gear. Over here. I'm good. Hold on a second. I'm not done cutting open these lizards. Okay. Now I need to get some shrooms. Trank bombs. Spore puff. I'm gathering. Jeez. Material found in Jeez. Okay, that's just some just some bones. Okay, the bones gone. Hey, are you digging? It's so adorable. Okay, sorry. Red Pit. I I'm not ever going to get over how adorable that little cat is. Do I just hold circle? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what it seems like anyway. Spore puffs. Are, are these more mushrooms I need to get? Yeah. Okay. So those little firefly things actually mark this stuff for you. I <laughs> just turned into a snake for a second. Bright moss. Oh, I walked over something. Red pit. Is that just like a... Is that just like a... Acne-filled armpit? Okay, that's what I figured. Honey! Honey, I'm home. I didn't mean to do whatever I just... Oh, I accidentally ate a potion. Okay, eight. I accidentally ate a potion. Yeah, I'm not really sure where I'm going. I know he told me to follow him, but I totally lost track of where he was. I think he's that green dot on my mini map. Yeah, yeah, he is. I realized I just walked over something, but I'm. I'll worry about it later. Okay. At least I think that's him. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, they went in here. Okay. Yeah, there they are. Whoops. Damn, we got a whole pack of them. Why are there so many? Uh, I don't know, but we're going to kill them. Just whatever you can. There's no one way to hunt a monster. Oh god, but maybe getting mauled by them isn't a good idea! What? I'm sorry, what do I need to do? Ow. I, I don't understand what I did. Help. Uh, no. No. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Come here, you little shit. I, I don't understand what I need to do. Do I need to sharpen my thing? Ow. 
I only need to kill one more. I'll figure out after I. Your health is low. Keep your distance and use a potion. I gotta use a potion? Ah! Did I use a potion? Oh, if you roll out of it, it doesn't use it properly. Okay. Ah! Billy! Oh, hold on a second. There's a lot more of these assholes. I realize I don't need to kill all of them, but I kind of want to. Oh, wait, no, I got a timer. I'm not sure there's any point to me doing this. They don't seem to be aggressive anymore. All right, let's let's poke you with my knife. Ah, used for many purposes. Jagras, hide. Hi there, lizard. You don't seem very happy with me. Yay! I did a mission. I don't know what was happening with my sword and why it was deflecting, so I need to figure that out. Okay, there should be a, a select all. It's not a big deal, though, because it is kind of quick. Yay, my kitty leveled up. A new cutscene has been added to the gallery. Okay. Palico attack and defense increased. Cool. So that was the first quest I did, and I already had a massive problem, which was the sword. I need to figure out why it did that. Close range weapons gradually lose sharpness with each attack. As a weapon's sharpness level fails, its attacks are more likely to be deflected, but you can restore its sharpness with whetstones. That's what I thought I had to do. Wedge beetles can be found in many different places. Fix your aiming reticle on one and press circle to hook onto it and swing it across. Okay. Oh, okay, I was like... Good to see you. Fine work taking down those lizards. Huh, so there's no difference in their habitat, but their numbers are increasing, I see. Uh -huh. Maybe stating the obvious, but Dagger aren't the only danger looking around these parts. We've also received reports of, Kestodon, of a Kestodon herd getting out of hand. This must be all because Zora Magdaros made landfall. It's got everything riled up. Listen up. Well, it's going to be your job to quiet them down. We'd like you to investigate this Kestodon herd and cull their numbers. I'm going along. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. Okay. You can now depart on quests with other players via an online session. Turn on voice chat function now. You can change your voice chat function later in the option. Uh, I mean, I don't really intend to do online at this particular moment, but I'll go ahead and leave it on. All right. Oh, now I that see. You've got some materials, why don't we head over to the so now this is actually like an them. online hub. Okay. I am. I understand this is a game that's kind of meant to be played with friends, but I don't have anyone playing with me right now. What's this? Squad manager? Oh, hello. Fiverr? Fever? We're all ready to open the tavern and gathering hub, the Celestial Pursuit. At the gathering hub, you can meet up with other hunters and embark on quests together. Yeah, this is online stuff. So to find the Celestial Pursuit, just look up. See that ship atop a Terra that looks like it's about to sail off to the stars? That's it. You can get up there by taking the lift. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't laugh like that. You're scaring me. Please come visit us as soon as you get the chance. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with that. Anyway. Speak to the smithy. All right. I'm pretty sure you're right here. 
Smithy! There you are, Look who's back from materials. Step right up and welcome to the Smithy. You'll be needing my services a lot. What I do for you is simple. Whenever you go out on the field and gather materials, I turn those materials into weapons and armor. Okay, makes sense. Drop by whenever something new and interesting. Whenever you find something new and interesting. Mm. Here I'll give you some material. Here I'll give you some materials as a welcome present. You can use them to upgrade your equipment. You can use monster materials and ore to forge and upgrade equipment at the smithy. Give the materials you earn as a quest. Uh, give the materials you earn as quest rewards or carve from monsters to the smithy to create new equipment for taking on even tougher monsters. Okay. Let's upgrade my weapon. First, select the weapon you want to upgrade. You can use the materials to upgrade different weapons with a variety of improved stats. If you want more base weapons to enhance, you can create more by selecting forge equipment at the smithy or by purchasing them at the armory. Upgraded weapons can also be downgraded. The materials used to upgrade the weapon will be returned to you. So you can kind of freely choose, like if you don't like what you do to your weapon, you can downgrade it and get your materials back. Select a weapon with the cursor and press triangle to add it to your wishlist. Once you acquire all necessary materials to create a wishlisted item, you'll receive a message. Oh, that's cool. So it actually lets you know when it's available, so you don't have to come back here and keep checking and see if you have all the uh, materials. That's really cool. Why don't more games do shit like that? You can add weapons and armor to your wishlist from the forge equipment screen. Yes. Can be upgraded. Required co okay, so. Oh, I see. So yeah, let's do that. I needed two iron ores, which I had. <laughs> that was kind of cool, actually. And if I didn't like it, I could go back down. Okay, so. Whoa, that's different. Horde tree. Bone tree. I would have to have the bone strong arm first. Since okay, I see. The question mark tree. So, once I get the materials, it'll tell me. Uh, let's try a wishlist thing and see what happens. Okay. And I, I imagine you can remove it. Yeah, so. Uh, let's upgrade some of my armor, I guess. Each piece of armor has a level. You can use armor spheres to gain points, which are used to raise your armor's level. The equipment's appearance won't change, but its defense will increase. There is a limit to the number of times a piece of armor can be leveled up. The number of points gained depends on the armor sphere used. Okay. Um, I don't quite understand that. I don't even know where I got an armor sphere. Okay. Okay, I see. Let's not do that yet, because I could probably get better armor. Let's upgrade these. That's about the same, really. Let's do it just to, just to see. Okay, simple. Mm. Let's check this thing out. I don't quite understand what the bone tree does. We'll go ahead and upgrade this too because I was actually this is one of the other weapons I was testing. No, don't equip now. Oh, that's one of the other weapons I was testing and I liked it, so. Alright, we're done for now. Forge Palico equipment, standard equipment. Alloy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I, ha I need points of some kind. I don't understand how I get those. I'll, I'll figure it out later. Bow gun. I saw, the, I saw the bow gun, but you can actually change it. Interesting. 
interesting. This is the kind of stuff I will look at a little bit more in detail off camera so that you guys can just watch the actual gameplay. So, speak to the handler. Airship engineer. So the fifth has arrived. Greetings. Greetings there. I'm the airship engineer with the second fleet. I work on flying machines, airships, and what have you. I'm sure you're curious about why you haven't met a member of the third yet. That's because they've all been stranded for years. It wasn't long after the scholars from the third landed before they insisted upon crossing the Great Ravine. So they got their ship converted into an airship and off they went. It was going well until just after they'd crossed the ravine, a flying monster attacked their airship and grounded them. Sure, they were reckless to go, but seeing as I'm the man who put them in the air, I can't help but feel partly responsible for it. Okay, then. Ever since then, I've been working on making a better airship, one that we could use to go rescue them. But in between the New World's nasty weather and the strong winds hurtling down the ravine, it has been one failure after another. Still, you won't catch me calling it quits. Okay. Let's go talk to my handler and do another mission. Well, let me see what this guy says first. Meowster Chef? You look, you're such a fucking swole cat! Why are you so swole? Wow! Okay. <laughs> you're so fucking swole! Hi, right, welcome to the canteen, the best place for you to boost your hunt. You're from the 5th, right? Well, let me clue you into what the canteen is all about. Gains. <laughs> of course it's all about gains! Oh my god! You really are the swollest fucker around, aren't you? Health. Stimuna. <laughs> Whatever. Max. Gains. <laughs> Yes! That's the best thing ever! Go on and sit down over there at the counter, scrawny! <laughs> I'm the buffest motherfucker! <laughs> when you're ready to get your pre-hunt on, let me know, meow, bitch! Wow! That's awesome! Get your login bonus. Oh! Horizon Zero Dawn collaboration content now available. Quest Lessons of the Wild. Available until next month. Okay, check the official website. Add on content now available. Download free hairstyles and classic gestures. Okay. Mouse killer chef! That's <laughs> fucking awesome. Take care of the quest fungal flex and against the forest, and that'll menu that menu will be up more packed than a great Jagras's belly. Finish that one up and I'll be able to get my paws on the goods. Don't let me down. Oh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> they went all the way with that. You can change your swole-eyed feline gear anytime in your room. Just Jesus Christ. I don't, I, someone's got to tell me, has this been in previous Monster Hunter games, or are they just making fun of that shit now? Because he's swole. Just go to the menu and select change Palico equipment. Oh my god, that's awesome. Hey there, partner. Next thing we need to take care of all those on. The chief said he'd be tagging along with us. How about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from ah. there? Oh, and I got some good news. We handlers post all leads we find up on the quest board. You can sign up for quests there, too, so you don't always have to come all the way up here. Then again, you might miss out on all the eats up here. <laughs> yeah, I bet I will. Okay. It lists the same quest that I've got, so don't worry about having to check two places. That's convenient, at least. We're on the hunt. Let's head to the ancient forest to research. <laughs> yeah, research. Optional. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I did that already. Uh, I mean, I just... Can I just... Can, yeah. Th that's what I want to do. I don't, I don't want to play online right now. When lucky vouchers are used when posting a quest, 
You will receive bonus rewards upon completing the quest. Be sure to use vouchers when you have the chance. Random quest rewards are guaranteed to drop. Random money doubles. Oh, reward money doubles. Okay. Lucky vouchers are obtained via login bonuses. One voucher is delivered each day, and you can claim up to five days' worth. Five vouchers of vouchers at once. Okay. Also note that you can only carry a maximum of five at a time. Okay. I see. No, let's not use it right now. I, I want to get the I want to get the fungal flexing. I want to do it because because swole cat. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. He's so swole. Me, killer chef. Oh God, you okay? Jesus Christ! You seem a little perturbed! I'm watching this cat to see if he gets fucked up. Okay. Not about, it's not all about your armor defense staff. The weapon type you equip will also change the amount of damage you take. Really? Close range reduces physical. Long range reduces elemental. Water moss can be picked up and used as slinger ammo called puddle pods. Try using it to trigger faraway plants and barrel bombs. Or clean mud off of a target. Delivery requests require you to collect special items. Once gathered... These items are delivered automatically and do not get added to your item pouch. As a result, there is no need to worry about running out of space and no need to manually deliver them. Deliver the required number of items during the quest to complete. The special items that are specified by the quest are automatically converted into Zenny. Your goal on this quest is to obtain and deliver some materials. Step one, go find some. Derp. Okay. This always gives me some extra stuff. Okay, let me see. I feel like the time limit should be visible somewhere. You can change your weapons and armor here. Make sure you're always prepped and ready for what comes okay. next. Okay. Okay, restores a moderate amount of health. Let's give myself a few more. Just a few more. Actually, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. That's actually all I wanted to do. So I could change to another. In fact, let's do that. I upgraded this katana. Let's use it. So, because I used the other weapon last time, let's switch it up a little bit and use this weapon. Is this the one I need? Herb. Oh, those are just potions. Okay. Old footprints. Okay. I sniffed it. <laughs> There's another one. What's this? Water moss. You can use that as slinger ammo. Great for getting a monster's attention or creating a distraction. Okay. I need gourmet shroom caps. I don't know where to find them. So we'll see. I'm at max, so let's make some of these. More footprints. Okay. More more uh, acne armpit. Let's go in here. I realize there's monsters in here. They don't appear very hostile. Just 
Okay, they're very hostile. <laughs> you can have materials off the monsters. These materials are vital for producing new equipment and upgrading what you have. Hurt. Yup. Are they running away? Okay, they're running away. The weapon is losing its sharpness. Create some distance, then use a whetstone. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Is there a point to doing it twice? Didn't mean to do that. What is that red gauge? Is it because I'm using my weapon too much or something? Alright, so hold on, let me cut this lizard open. Okay. Great Jagras. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, so let me look at these. Didn't mean to do that. SOS flare? No, I don't need to do that. Does that make it so that it... Does it make it so that it cools down quicker? What the fuck? I don't get it. Okay. What the fuck is that? You're less likely to lose oh! sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. That was a big one! Okay. It's not what I'm here for, though. I'm here because I want to get stuff for the swole Bright cat. can be used as slinger ammo. Launch it at walls to eliminate dark areas. Like the inside of a cave, for example. Okay. That's great and all, but... Wait, what was that? Okay. I don't know where the stuff I need to find is. Your wildlife map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. Great Jagras. I'm not here for you right now. I'm trying to find the... Okay. Billy says, look, there's something here. What? Where you at, Billy? Where's my kitty, Billy? Ooh, it's over here. Mining outcrop! Got some more iron ore. Ooh, I got macalite ore. To the Macalite or Machalite? I'm gonna say Macalite. Oh, look, the Great Jagras. You're not my target. Okay. Sure, let's go with that. What's that? Bright Moss? I don't need more bright moss. I need to find these stupid gourmet shroom caps. Is it these things? No, that's parashroom. Um, I feel like I'm being retarded, but I mean that's kind of par for the course nowadays, ain't it? Uh, but no, I mean. I don't. I feel like I should be finding this stuff, and I can't. Okay. Just out straight up stone. Maybe maybe there's more stuff over here.
Or maybe there's not. Okay. Well, this is a little anticlimactic, ain't it? Can I do the Great Jaguar's quest here, too? You can fast travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. Faints left zero out of three. Okay, I haven't found even one, and I've been doing this for ten minutes. It would help if I knew what it was, like, what it looked like. So I could probably spot it before I actually get close to it. What was that? Not what I needed, but... Okay, I guess I'm going down river. Whatever that is. Uh, unique mushroom colony. That's probably it. Perfect. Yeah. You've got the materials you need. I'll mark where you found these on the wildlife map. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so they're gonna be like my trees and shit then. A rare mushroom from the ancient forest, highly sought after by elite chefs. All right, no, jump, jump down, jump. I don't want to go up. I want to go down. I want to go down. Oh, there we go. Ah! Okay. Let's search these bones. I guess you could say we're really getting boned. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm trying to find more of these shrooms, though. Okay, that just goes back up there, and I know there's none up there. What are you? Why did I get that? Oh, wait, that, that's right. I did that in the beta. <laughs> I remember that now. I'm like, why would I kick the frog? Okay. A mining outcrop. Well, this is a little anticlimactic. I'm thinking next time I do a side quest like this, I'll do it off camera if it's just a gathering quest because that might be a little boring to watch. Dung. Okay. Still need to find more of these mushrooms. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Look, I don't care about you. I want to get some stuff for this swole cat. I will do that though. That was awesome that I found them earlier. Now I can't find any. Might as well search these since I'm here. Huh. Well, this recording's going on a lot longer than I wanted it to, so I'm kind of thinking that I may just cut it here soon so you don't have to see me running around this forever. You can assign a target destination for your scout flies on the map. Okay. I guess, I think I may cut it here. Uh, let me see. If I can find another one here real soon, I might not. But there's not going to be very much action in this episode. Because I am going to be kind of avoiding fighting a little bit. Since that's not my goal here. Because that's just going to waste time that I have. Oh, there's some! I think I see some behind me, too. No. Up there. Okay, hold up a second. 
I might, I might be getting onto something. Okay, it's not what I thought it was, but... I got more of them. So... That's a plus. That means I've done something. Kinda. Alright. Uh, I'll go ahead and keep on going for now. Because I... This could be, um, I, I don't really know what people are trying to watch, but I can tell you this right now, if you're still, if you're still watching right now, there's not going to be very much more action, this is just going to be me finishing the quest, so if you don't, if that's not interesting, feel free to click away and go watch something else or do whatever it is you want to do, since I'm... This place looks safe. I bet it would make the perfect camp. Um, oh, so, so did I just unlock another camp spot? Do I gotta set it up, or does it just automatically come up later? Okay. What the fuck is that? I mean, I'm heading that direction, so I'm gonna catch up to it, but... Anjana. I'm guessing that's... Yeah, that's what that is. I just don't know what it actually... Ooh. You are a big mother. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, Jesus. Go ahead and get it just so I get the extra points and shit. I need more mushrooms. Oh, I ran out of stamina. I'm gonna go down this way. Spider web. Have I been down here before? I think so, because there's stuff already showing up here. Ah! Rats with wings. Okay. This is really riveting, I know. I'm sorry that this is so slow. I guess I should have anticipated a gathering mission would be, uh, well, slow. Oop. What's this? Hi there. Oh, you're mad at me. Okay. Just gonna... Okay, bye. <laughs> Man. I'm lost as shit. <laughs> I haven't got a... Jesus Christ, where do I even... Ah! Oh, parish room. I'm so lost right now. I need to find some more mushrooms. Let's check back over here. I don't know what that is. Okay, I guess it's nothing. I guess it's just a weird lighting thing. Wait, what? Oh. What? First Wyvarian. What? Ah, a hunter. Here. So long. Oh, what? It? Okay, thanks. Sure. Come, Billy. Yeah, because that's what I want to be doing right now. Nitro shroom? A hard to find mushroom that has power to regenerate blazing, generate blazing heat. 
Not regenerate. Required to craft gunpowder. Interesting. Which is meant to craft more bullets of different kinds for different guns, I'm assuming. Okay, I came from here. So let's go back. I found some! Moonlit mushroom. Never mind, I didn't find shit. Thought I found what I wanted, but I did not. <laughs> That's a little disappointing, I will admit. Okay, I guess I'll head over this way since I haven't been this way yet. At least I don't think I've been this way. Yeah, back up this way. And then, since I think I have been over there, you're unique. Okay. What are those, wyverns? Yeah, so I'm not going to record gathering missions anymore. Wiggly Litchy. Um, just uh, saying that now. Unless I get some for... If I, for some reason, if I get popular demand for it, which is unlikely. Ooh. Toxic mucus? Jesus. That's disgusting. Oh, unique mushroom colony. Hopefully they're what I need. They're not. Oh, wait, yeah, they are. Your stamina cap has dropped. Eat some well-done steak to restore it to max. Why is my stamina cap dropped? Okay, I got quite a few on that one, so... And there's another one! Maybe I'll finish it all right here. Real soon, I hope. So there seems to be a lot of these in this one area right here. And I, I'm 99% I'm sure I've walked past a few without realizing it. Ooh! <gasps> No. Pukey pukey. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. I'm not wanting to fight you. I'm trying to. Jesus, jump at Jehoshaphat! Oh, they're going at it! You know that! I'm gonna fucking shit! <laughs> I need mushrooms! I'm not here for you for once! Jesus Christ! Okay, sorry, I'll stop being over dramatic, but. No, seriously! Oh! Wait, where'd the other guy go? I thought you guys were fighting! No, oh, there's one! Fine, you wanna go, bitch? Let's go! Guess we are getting some action! <laughs> okay. Let's let's do this while I can. Ooh! Dodge their attacks. You don't want to take hits like that head on. That almost killed me. Come on, I just need I just need mushrooms. Uh oh. No! Ugh. 
Go fight him again. Thank you. Would you not? I need one more. Are you fucking kidding me? It's all over for me, Meowster. What? You killed my cat! Ah! This is horseshit. I wasn't this. I was not prepared for this. Cat kind of had to bring me back. There were some issues involving a dinosaur. So, uh, I need one more. <laughs> Fuckly enough. Let's, uh, okay. Can I just, please tell me you just like regenerated so I can just do you. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, I guess we're doing it. Oh, thank God. Okay. I did it! Let's get some more, though. Yeah. We did it! Come on, buddy. Let's go. What did I give him? A sausage? Okay. We did it. That took 25 minutes. I guess that's really not that bad for a game like this. But I won't record any more um, gathering missions unless I get asked what like to do it. Because I feel like that took way longer than it should have. But I'm not I'm not necessarily against doing long episodes for a game like this. So that was fun. I may also do optional missions off camera, um, just to let you know that now. But we will see. I'm not sure about that one yet. At the moment, I won't, but maybe a couple more episodes in, I might decide it might be better to do off-channel missions off-camera. And then keep the main gameplay through the main story. But we'll see what people want, if any of my friends even suggest anything. If not, then I'll just, I'll just opt for it in myself. In any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Okay, bye!